What's cracking, YouTube? I am finally here to let y'all know on how I'm able to play Midnight Club 3 with the graphics settings that I have for my emulator for PCSX2. I have been received multiple and multiple and multiple comments like, bro, how in the world do I have my gameplay looking so crispy, so smooth, so crystal clear, like so beyond gorgeous? Like even a couple of comments are like, bro, I have my settings really damn good, but I'm not sure how you have it in such a way that like it just looks so damn gorgeous so like i'm here to show y'all how i have my settings not only for my emulator but also installing 60 frames playing at 4k hd texture mods no motion blur a widescreen hud fix all that stuff man so hopefully y'all are having a good day slash night for whatever time y'all are watching this video of course and uh without any further ado let's just get straight into the video So what y'all see right here, these are pretty much the testings that what I'm going to show y'all on how I got my HD textures playing in 4K, 60 frames and all that, et cetera, et cetera. So I pretty much made a new folder, a PCSX2. This is a brand new emulator that I just installed. So if I were to bring this and just drag it over here, the emulator is right here at the bottom. I did not do anything in terms of cheats, memory cards, textures, nothing at all. This is all pretty much brand spanking new. But the, the only thing that I've done is just the bio so like everything else the emulator is pretty much fresh right out the gate so if i were to go search for a new game right now i need to go back to my desktop and i have it on pcsx2 games select the folder yes and then every single game should come up the ones that i already have installed onto my pc and if you want to know where i get these games i'll leave a link down in the description of where you're able to download every single game that you could possibly think of so yeah it's all right here and uh the game that i'm going to show y'all to do all this stuff i'm going to click on midnight clip 3 dub edition of course and go click on properties now in order the 60 frames to work i'm instantly going to go to the emulation setting right here and go to ee cycle rate and just automatically put this at 300 because it, i'm telling you it's going to run the absolute best if you run it to anything else like 180 130 100 60 frames it's going to be really really choppy and kind of laggy it's not going to work properly whatsoever you need to overclock it at 300 i'm telling you it's the best way to do it well at least for me that it's the best way for me i'm pretty sure it could work differently for everyone else it, you can always you know test it all out but uh, for me it works out for 300 so might as well just go give it a shot if it works out for you of course and uh we have no patches as of yet i know it says it but we haven't installed it as of yet enable cheats for the cheat selection right here on your uh on your options make sure that's checked enable the widescreen patches on your graphics setting right here go to rendering actually no no before you even go to rendering make sure you put the widescreen as 16 to 9 16 to 9 again for the fmv aspect ratio and everything else just leave it alone that's the only thing that i changed was the aspect ratio and fmv aspect ratio as well so for rendering settings for me to play 4k i just go to six times native for 4k right there and i think that's essentially it i don't think i've done anything else in terms of rendering oh besides this whatever gpu that you have make sure you put your adapter onto that so mine is the nvidia geforce rtx 3060 so that's what i put for my adapter and for my render um honestly whatever works out best for you but me personally um i used to run vulcan but i kind of went towards to the uh, direct 3d 11 only because i can easily just go click in and out of the game while it's still running and to do some like other multitasking stuff so whatever it's on youtube or anything else so i just kind of leave at 3d 11 so yeah that pretty much works out for me although direct 3d will make your mini map a little bit more of a darker tint vulcan does not so just to keep that in mind your mini map will be darker if you put it on direct 3d but a regular brighter mini map it will be on vulcan or maybe some other gp or not gps the fuck renders out there is what i meant to say renders for anything else for a brighter mini map but directs yeah you're gonna get a darker tint for your mini map but i'm more used to the darker tint so it doesn't really matter for me so that's the emulation settings that why i got from minico 3 so anything you should be ready to go but we're not done so what i'm going to show y'all is these links right here i will put these down in the description as well to get your hd texture packs so for the hd textures you want to go down over here where it says mediafire.com 
click on that and it should show you all these games right here for whatever game you want to do for hd textures so for midnight club where's that bitch at? oh there it is right there that's perfect so i go click that it's already downloading right there as you see on the top right so as that's downloading 60 fps codes and just scroll all the way down again the link is in the description if you want to go check it out search for midnight club it's right there boom and it should be right there there is your code right there all you gotta do is just copy and then paste it onto your uh your notepad if you will but the thing is i already have both of these installed on my computer so i don't really technically need to do this so for 60 frames and the hd texture packs i'm already good so here's the part that where i'm going to show you where it gets a little bit more tricky so this is where your main options are for your emulator that what you want to do right here right so there's that i'm going to go to my patches right here i already have a couple of patches already i got one for need for speed nba street midnight club gta driver you know etc etc so the one i'm going to show y'all is the 60 fps hud fix so the funny thing is i'm going to leave this in the description as well these are the codes for you to get 60 frames along Along with the widescreen HUD fix, this will make your mini map and your gauges on the bottom right. It's going to be at the perfect resolution, the perfect widescreen that you need for your game to how it's able to look like just like mine. So these are the codes right here. So all you gotta do is just copy and paste it. So because of that, it's already in here. So if you already copy this on the description, boom, copy go to file okay first of all on your notepad if you want to go find out where that is just click on where's the search where's the search oh not on the windows the search is right here just click on notepad right should be right here so let's say you copy this on my description right so copy it let's just pretend this is the description of my video right so you want to paste that right here and since you already got that ready to go, this is for 60 FPS along with the uh, widescreen patch. Go to file and then go to save as and make sure you put on save as type onto all files. All files is what you need to do. And then since I already got mine saved, you can just click the same exact code and make sure it also says PNAC. It has to be a PNAC file in order for this to work properly i'm telling you that's just the way to do it so make sure you save that but since i already got it i don't need to save it so exit out all of that stuff don't need to save it and then boom you got your patches on your folder that you created for these patch files for midnight club you would need to make a new folder for the copy and paste to all that stuff to work out all right now how to put those patch codes in the emulator itself well, you need to go to PCSX2 test. Well, I got mine on test. You might, you could probably have yours on a different name. But anyways, go to cheats, leave it right here on that file. Go to your cheat patches, go to 60 FPS with the HUD fix, copy that, and then paste it onto your cheats folder. And then boom, you already got 60 FPS with the widescreen and also no motion blur as well. I forgot to mention that in the video. Yeah, there's, there's also no motion blur with those patches that I just shown down in the description in the video. So yeah, that's already good to go. Now for HD textures, since it's already downloaded right here, where's the texture files? If I were to go to all downloads right here, where is it? Okay, so this is it right here. This is the HD textures. You need to extract this folder onto your folder for the uh, textures. I got a few textures already on the folder that I have for all my texture mods I need for my emulator. I got for Need for Speed, Midnight Club, NBA Street, Most Wanted, and yada, yada, yada. So yeah, let's just say we're gonna go for a Midnight Club, right? Cause that's the one that we're looking for for this video. This is what you need to copy and paste so copy this folder the one that's already extracted from what you already downloaded into your new folder this time go down to textures on your emulator and then paste it and it's going to take a little bit of some time for it to you know process it and then uh yeah we just got to wait till it's all ready to go 
all right so we're pretty much done with the download on that it should be good to go right here just to confirm it that everything is all good to go these are all the textures right here on midnight club that will definitely give it a bit more spice for your resolutions and the clarity the sharpness like look at that like you already know what's gonna happen for the clarity of the damn video like it's gonna look so damn beautiful bro i'm telling you so now you want to go back into your emulator if it's already open up make sure you close it if it's already open then restart it go to your properties and then go to graphics make sure everything's good to go enable widescreen yup 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 4k yup yup if everything is done right oh yeah also make sure for your texture placement check all of this make sure all of this is checked for your texture replacements and everything else i kind of just leave this all alone I, I don't touch anything over here at all like the only thing you need to focus on is rendering texture and display that's all you need to do so yeah make sure all this is checked out for your textures and uh yeah i think that should be ready to go from here so without any further ado um yeah let's go test it out everything should be running crystal freaking clear oh yeah it says one game patches another game patches and a cheap patches and all that so yeah man if you've done everything exactly Exactly the way how i've done it on the video um yeah everything should be good to go and you'll know instantly when you have hd textures when this looks super crispy crystal clear especially all the lettering is so super sharp oh my god manny press i'm so sorry i'm so sorry yeah i already swapped out my memory card from my other emulator to this one so this emulator is just pretty much a little test dummy but yep everything seems to be running crystal freaking clear man this one has no motion blur 4k at 60 oh my goodness there is no excuse because i don't i don't really want to lose but you know what shit happens it's just life man but yeah this is it man no motion blur the fucking widescreen hud fix the only thing about the widescreen that's kind of a, a bit weird is that um it's this the widescreen HUD fix, it's like, it's kind of like halfway done, but personally, I don't really mind that all too much because like the gauges, the mini map, it's at a perfect size for the widescreen and for campaign side of things, obviously, if you were to go to this map, you can still see like the game, like the garages right here, the sidewalk, the street. So yeah, it's not really the greatest in terms, you know, physically fix it, if you know what I mean, but like, I don't know. To me, this doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess that that's kind of weird because this I should be in this little square but yeah other than that if we were just to exclude that out the equation and just look at the mini map and the gauges the way how it's like a beautiful perfect circle like this is pretty much what a widescreen is supposed to look like for your game and this is pretty much how i play the game just in natural to this very day and uh yeah that's pretty much it man Okay, so there is one last thing before I cut off the video. Um, I just need to tell y'all that the 30 FPS, if you play this game online, 30 FPS is definitely the way to go. If you play at 60, the gameplay will be smooth. It's still gonna be buttery smooth and all. But for some reason, if you play with people that's like, let's say you're playing in a server with like two, three, four plus people, the servers are gonna start tanking a little bit. Meaning like the gameplay itself is gonna look smooth, but it's gonna slow down your gameplay for some weird reason. Like it's really hard to explain. Like the game is smooth, but it also feels like your game is slowing down. Like you're actually using zone but online like it's really hard to explain like 60 frames is just not really the right choice of ways to play midnight club when you know doing it online so me personally i think 30 fps is the best way of doing it it just works better for the servers it's not going to be tanking it it's just not gonna you would have to play it for yourself to understand that what i'm talking about so if i were to demonstrate it it's going to look something like this So if you heard it in your headset or your speakers, if you see how everything was like kind of slowing down, you can hear like how like the game just was struggling just to even, I don't know, I guess work properly. Like that's pretty much every server online when you're playing at 60 FPS. So just keep that in mind. Me personally go with 30 frames online. And uh, yeah, that's all I pretty much want to say. And uh, yeah, back to the video. 
so hopefully y'all enjoyed the video of course hopefully this was a very extremely helpful video at that i'm not really good at, at explaining things all too much so i really do genuinely hope that this is very helpful to y'all and uh if you do find this helpful of course leave a like and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel turn on the bell for notifications for all that beautiful wonderful glorious ass shit man and i will see you next time for a future upload man y'all take it easy